Whoopi Goldberg has been suspended from The View following her statements in regard to the Holocaust. Now, context is everything. We're gonna give you all the details. This story has been developing over a few days now. But it all started when the ladies of The View were engaging in a pretty heated debate about Mouse, which is an award-winning Holocaust graphic novel that's been banned from Tennessee schools. The Tennessee School Board has banned it. And so it's this ongoing censorship movement by the right wing. The very people who claim that they're against cancel culture, they're trying to wipe away books that have been written by um, authors who are black, you know, women, LGBTQ community. It doesn't matter. Anyone who's different, they want those books erased. So they're having a debate about this. And Whoopi Goldberg argued that the Holocaust is not about race or was not about race. Um, and she blamed something else instead. So here's what the statement was. Here's what got her in trouble, and then we'll give you the rest. Holocaust isn't about race. No. No, it's well, not about maybe race. Maybe ethnicity. It is. Yeah, no, it's Jews about a different it, race. But it's it's not about race. It's not about well, race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. That's what it's about. But it's about white supremacy. It's well, about but going it's not, after it's Jews not about and, ideal and race. It's it's not perfect. But these are two Romans. white groups of people. Well, how do we have to black people see them, them as white? And and they, but you're missing the point. You're yeah. missing the point. Yeah. The minute you turn it into race, it goes down this alley. Let's talk about it for what it is. It's how people treat each other. It's a problem. It doesn't matter if you're black or white, because black, white, Jews, uh, it's how everybody. Eats each other. So the Holocaust was about race because Hitler and the Nazis saw Jews as a different and inferior race. That was that was what it was about. And look, I think it's important because I I can see what Whoopi was like. I can see the point that she was trying to make. Okay, let me just back up for a second and put things in more context. I don't think Whoopi Goldberg is very smart. Sorry. Uh, I, I, we've criticized her in different contexts before, and she just, maybe smart is not the right word. She is not knowledgeable about the things that she argues about. That is a better way of putting it. Uh, I don't was, watch enough to have any idea about her overall level of intelligence. Yeah, intelligence is not the right way to put it, because I, I think that she is a perfectly smart person, but she tends to speak out of a place of ignorance a lot. Well, and I've seen enough of The View to make to share that okay. opinion. I, I haven't. Yeah. I know that they, they have to comment on a lot of different things and they're yeah. not it's it's not John Oliver. They're not prepping for three weeks to talk about, you know, like flood insurance. It is more casual, definitely. So they're yeah. more likely to fall into holes like that. Yeah. So I think what she was trying to do there was make like some I don't know, some point about humanity. And I don't think it came from a bad place. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. I don't think that there was malicious intent. I don't think that she's an anti Semite. She wasn't denying the Holocaust. She wasn't denying the Holocaust. I, I, honestly, like when this story first broke and I saw that, I was like, it's not, it's kind of a dumb thing to say, but I don't think it's malicious. And I moved on. It, but it it's like, further devolved from there. So, yeah, it's like, Pointlessly attempting to be deeper, cleverer than yes. you're capable of yes. being in the moment. Because, yes. like, yeah, there definitely is something about the sort of primal willingness of individuals and groups of humans to be inhuman to others. Also, it was about race. Yeah. It wasn't just about race. There was a lot of homophobia, there yeah. was a lot of xenophobia against people from outside of that country. There was there was a lot of different hatreds all lumped together, but there was also a ton of racism and anti-Semitism. And and it's not just will it was two white groups. This like that is a thing that gets argued about. I think it's insane, but it's also not like that this isn't following on literally thousands of years of anti-Semitism baked into most of Europe. It just it was it was just thoughtless in a lot of different yeah, ways. And again, I agree that I don't think it's not the same as like, well, I think they're exaggerating the Holocaust. It's not that. And I I don't think there was ill intent. I actually dislike the things that she said afterward to try to nuance it more. I feel like she could have just apologized and right. tried to learn. Well, okay. But the initial comment I I just I think she was in over her head, but not from a place of evil. Yeah, I think we I think we agree. I think we just agree. Um, I, we have the same take on the initial statement. Now let's get to how she 
kind of made the situation worse. Um, now she apologized immediately after that episode. She goes on Twitter, she apologizes, but she then kind of undid her own apology while appearing on Colbert's show. She said this, I thought it was a salient discussion because as a black person, I think of race as being something that I can see. So I see you and I know what race you are. And that discussion was about how I felt about that. People were very angry and they said, no, no, we are a race. And I understand, I understand, I felt differently. <sighs> so at that point- It's just ignorant, it's ignorant. Yeah. I just, and it's, it's not like, like they, the, the thing that's frustrating about it is that there are definitely components of, you know, we could get into a conversation about passing and about where the socio, you know, constructed lines of race fall. But then you have things like, you know, like the the one drip drop principle in American history, and there is a lot of conversation there. But to say that uh, Jewish individuals can't identify as a race, or to believe that in the current era or in 1930s and 1940s era Germany, there wasn't any capacity to tell from a glance that someone might be Jewish or not. There's just a lot of layers of ignorance there. Yeah, and you know what? I'm actually gonna go back to something you said earlier. I get that this isn't like PBS frontline news. I get it, I get it. But they weigh in on heavy topics yeah. every single morning or every single day. And they have a large audience. The New York Times has referred to The View as the most important political show in the country. I'm not even exaggerating. Which clearly is Fox and Friends, so that was <laughs> ignorance too, but. And so, Look, I, I'm sorry, you do have a responsibility. Mm -hmm. The producers and the hosts of that show have a responsibility to be informed on what they're talking about, right? So I, like, I'm kind of tired of like, oh, you know, there's gaggle of gals, you know, they're just, they're just, it's not a serious news show, except they're weighing in on things and people trust them. People turn to them for their opinions and, you know, believe in what they're saying. And I think that is a problem. If you're gonna weigh in on, Heavy topics like this, just please make sure that you're speaking from a knowledgeable place. And if you don't know what you're talking about, it's okay to not say anything at all. Mm -hmm. It's okay to not like try to make some random profound point. Like it's yeah. anyway. Well, it's very similar to what we said about Rogan. Yeah, yeah. You, exactly. you may want to just have you know a potted up chat show or whatever, but millions of people listen to you, and you choose to talk about things that are literally life and death. So when you combine all those things, a certain level of responsibility should be required, even if in practice it's not. Exactly, exactly. So um, now after she made that statement on Colbert's show, uh, the backlash uh, not only ensued, it was exacerbated. Um, so the ADL had released a statement, this is the CEO of the Anti-Defamation League. He says, the Holocaust was about the Nazis systemic annihilation of the Jewish people who they deem to be an inferior race. They dehumanize them and use their racist propaganda to justify slaughtering six million Jews. Holocaust distortion is dangerous. And I also want to note, like, and I know that this is not what her intention was, but this comment was made with the backdrop of the right wing constantly denying racism exists, mm -hmm. right? Rejecting the notion that certain things have happened as a result of racism. And so I think whether we like it or not, people are already, well-meaning people are already kind of like subconsciously primed to immediately have like a knee-jerk reaction to statements like the one that she made without yeah. even really thinking about, okay, what was the intention here, yeah. you know? So with that said, she did invite the CEO of the Anti-Defamation League on The View. She said that she wanted to improve her understanding of the issue. And she also issued another apology on air. So let's take a quick look at that. I said something that I feel a responsibility for not leaving unexamined because my words upset so many people, which was never my intention. And I understand why now. And for that, I am deeply, deeply grateful because the information I got was really helpful and helped me understand some different things. And while discussing how a Tennessee school board unanimously, unanimously voted to remove a graphic novel about the Holocaust, I said that the Holocaust wasn't about race. 
And it was instead about man's inhumanity to man. But it is indeed about race, because Hitler and the Nazis considered Jews to be an inferior race. Now, words matter, and mine are no exception. I regret my comments, as I said, and I stand corrected. I also stand with the Jewish people, as they know and y'all know, because I've always done that. I think that was a great apology. You, it was it was pretty good. There, I could I could nitpick no, a few no, little things, I, but no, no, it's fine. I'm not, I wasn't going was to. I you went to me. I wasn't going to interrupt. That was a great apology. It was good. It, it was, was good. good. Look, not only look again. I think the intentions matter. Mm-hmm. I don't think she was malicious. I don't. I think that she spoke from a place of ignorance. So, like, can we just? There are really bad people mm-hmm. across the globe, and especially in this country. And we gotta be hyper focused on mitigating the damage they wanna do. Yes. I think that it is a disservice to focus on people like Whoopi Goldberg as if she's the enemy. Again, I think she said something that was deeply ignorant. She apologized. I think that final apology was a good apology. But after that apology, she was suspended. Um, And so uh, the view put out a statement saying that, you know, uh, effective immediately. I am suspending Whoopi Goldberg for two weeks for her wrong and hurtful comments. While Whoopi has apologized, I've asked her to take time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. The entire ABC News organization stands in solidarity with our Jewish colleagues, friends, family, and communities. I don't think anyone questioned whether ABC News as an organization stands by. (laughs) Like, It's just, Mm -hmm. I think it's an overreaction. I'm just keeping it real. Yeah, I, like I said on my show, I would have rather that they spend two weeks, you know, periodically giving people the facts about the Holocaust, so there's no ambiguity because it totally, you know, disconnected from anything Whoopi Goldberg has said. A lot of Americans do not know fundamental things about the Holocaust, about anti-Semitism, about Nazism, either back then in the German context or in the present day American context, or Nazism in America during World War II. So I think they could have used the time to educate people. That said, while I agree it's an overreaction, she's gonna be fine. And honestly, like if if this was the sort of overreaction that we could expect for other things, other people in media who make these sorts of mistakes, like when Tucker Carlson says something incredibly anti-Semitic or racist, if they were to actually suspend him for two weeks, I don't know, I'd kind of be in favor of that. It's just that we know it's it's like always the people who were least awful that yeah. suffer the worst consequences. Yeah, because we have higher standards for them. Yeah. And my only ask is it's 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 good that we have higher standards for people. Let's just also be understanding, empathetic and kind mm-hmm. and also be cognizant of what the intentions were. If I had any feeling, if there was any inkling that Whoopi Goldberg was anti-Semitic, yeah. then yeah, I mean I would 100% be in favor of the suspension. In fact, I'd want more than that. I wouldn't mm-hmm. want her to have any kind of platform where she would spew anything anti-Semitic. But I, I didn't get that feel here. Again, I do think she spoke from a place of ignorance. But that's not to do away with any responsibility. Like I said, if you're gonna weigh in on heavy issues, especially things that have to do with like the Holocaust, yeah. just make sure you know what you're talking about before you speak, that's it. That's anyway, fair. all right, well, uh, We do wanna ask you guys, by the way, what you think. So we have a poll on this, should Whoopi have been suspended, yes or no? I'm actually really curious what our audience thinks about this. So we'll fill you in later with- I have no uh, guess. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. It's part of the reason why I kind of didn't wanna (laughs) talk about this story in the first place. It's like such a touchy subject for understandable reasons. And I think people are too quick to jump on people for not wanting to like, burn them at the stake, mm-hmm. you know? And I, don't, I just, again, let's be a little more empathetic because I do think it's a teachable moment. It could be a good opportunity, not just for Whoopi, but for others, as John mentioned earlier. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.